What we have here is a fully self-aware security android. Nah, no, just kidding. It's a TV lift from tvliftcabinets.com. Let's build the cabinet and put it together. This is the ceiling lift. I'll put a link in the description to tvliftcabinets.com where you can find it. It's designed for most TVs 75 inches or smaller. I'm going to build a TV cabinet that hangs on my wall and drops down. It's going to fit my 50 inch screen TV. All right, so I dove in back here in my wood pile. I got this old uh, pine that was uh, milled up. I think it's got a great look. So we're going to use that. Um, this thing's about. I'd say about 20 foot long. Uh, so let's get cutting this. I'm going to cut it in a little bit oversized, so about 46 inches, and we'll go from there. All right, so I've already uh, cut a few pieces for the side panels. Cut them oversized, I'm gonna plane them down. They're only gonna be about uh, half an inch thick. Before I cut this down to final uh, width, I'm gonna trim off the side right here so I have something flat to glue against. All right, it's time to cut these down to final length, which will be nine inches. So I'm going to change how I do this a little bit. I tried to glue this panel to the other two and it just it's too thin and too big. So I'm going to install this onto the base of it in pieces. Sometimes I forget what I'm saying. So let's keep going on the sanding. I've got the sides to sand then I'll cut them on down.
So you know the old adage, measure twice, cut once. Well, I measured twice, measured wrong twice, and cut my boards to 44 inches, which is the inside of this cabinet. So I am going to modify what I'm doing and I'm gonna place them inside the cabinet and then put a trim piece all the way around it. I think it'll still look good. We're going to use some uh, special walnut 224. I don't know if it's going to be too light or too dark. We're going to give it a shot and go from there. Now it's time to put this whole lift together. Now this is how it's gonna mount right here. And I need it to be centered in this one. I can't put it on this side because the wheel comes down. So those will just be screws down at the bottom. But up here, I'm gonna drill two holes on either side and put lag screws all the way through into this wood. And this one will be lag screwed into the backing which is already in the wall. Now you can see I've drilled the extra holes. So I'm lucky enough that the guys put the scaffolding up for me and I can get up here easily, if not, a lot of work done too. Next thing I'm going to do is mark the studs so I know where they're going to be and I can bolt that board to the wall. And here's the power unit, and it's got the 
these little latches that pop on just like that and then secure just like that. So we're good to go with this now. I don't have power up there yet. You can see those receptacles. So I'm going to be using an extension cord to test this out. We're not getting power uh, for a little while yet. So let's go ahead and test this out. The thing I want to show you is right here is this button right here. You can control how high this goes up in there by adjusting that. If your cabinet's closing not much too far out, you shorten that by that much and you'll close perfect. So here we are, we're gonna put the stuff on the back of the TV. This is fairly simple. Now, my TV, the bolts that came with it don't fit, but I had some for my TV anyways, and I'm gonna use those for that. One last thing, make sure that these knobs right here, they allow you to tilt the TV back and forth or on the outside so you can reach them. All right, so you'll see these brackets right here. These brackets are removable. You can take them off and move them anywhere you want to, uh, to fit. You just gotta make sure you leave three spaces in between. Brackets are to hold the TV onto the stand. They have these screws at the end of them and you just unscrew the screws you slide them through the holes. All right, so these brackets flip through these other brackets. These bolts go back on to here. All right, these are a break, a TV pole break right here. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna go in and slide in this little hole that's in there, and then they will keep it from rotating Is it on? It's on. All right, there are some uh, locking brackets right here. You gotta make sure that you lock back. So when you put them up, you'll lock them and they'll stay right where they're at. A couple of things you should know before buying this lift. First of all, this is a pretty heavy lift. It's, uh, it's made to come out of a ceiling or out of something, and it's fairly heavy. As you saw in the video, I had to have Leanne get up there and help me. So make sure that you have somebody that will be able to help you mount this thing, uh, just so you don't pull a muscle or anything. The ceiling lift is not much different than the cabinet lifts that you'll see on their website. Um, with that being said, make sure you, you pick the correct one for your TV size. They have different sizes for different TV. One thing I, I, I found disconcerting, it, it travels at about an inch per second, uh, which caused the TV lift to take about 56 seconds to open and then close with the small motor. I wish it was a little bit faster, but it, it it's no big deal. It has great travel distance. It traveled from the where it was inside the box all the way down. 40 inches is the travel. And it also has a 15 uh, degree tilt for the screen, which enhances your viewing if you're laying in a bed or something like that. The biggest thing that I can say for this lift is it was super easy to install. I think the hardest thing I, I did was make that cabinet and there's a lot that I would do different to 
mounting the TV lift and the cabinet to the wall if I had to do it over again. All in all, I'm fairly happy with this lift. I can't wait to put my bed there and, and, and watch TV. I think it's going to be a great addition to our house. I want to thank TVLiftCabinets.com for sending it to me and letting me review it. If you're interested in, in purchasing one of these, uh, head over to TVLiftCabinet.com. Their link will be in the description below.